Hello students, good morning. I am your English teacher from Kendra Vidya Rulia and today we are going to read the third chapter of your story of your textbook Honeycomb, Gopal and the Hazel Fish. Before we start reading the story, let's know something about the characters and technique. See, the protagonist or the main character of this story is Gopal Bhar who was a court jester in medieval Bengal, medieval around the 18th century. When there was still uh, the uh, process of monarchy going on. So there was a king in the district of Nadia and Gopal Bhar was a member of his, country, of his uh, court here. Now see the technique of this story. This story is written as a comic. So what is a comic strip? Comic strip as you can relate to the picture and with your story. It is a sequence of drawings arranged adjacently or side by side to display a story. The story can be humorous like this one which is funny or it can also be of some other type but a serialized narrative serialized narrative means you can write a full whole story or novel like in this manner but what is the difference when we read a story a normal story in our narrative story the stories are written just in lines so we have to imagine by ourselves the course of the story the backgrounds how the characters are behaving, all these things we'll have to imagine. But in a comic strip, all these things are portrayed, drawn, so you can see it and we can guess it very easily. Now, the third important thing in this story is Hilsa fish. What is Hilsa fish? It is also known in Bengali as Ilish. It is a very popular fish around India. And uh, the important fact, the interesting fact about this fish is that it is the state symbol of West Bengal and Tripura. And do you know, it is also the national fish of Bangladesh. Now let's start reading the actual story. Open your books. And in the beginning of the story, as you have already seen, this is written in a comic strip manner. The story is starting with a picture of a river some fishermen on a boat are catching some fishes can you guess for which fish are they catching obviously according to the story it is hilsa fish so it was the season for hilsa fish fishermen could think of nothing but hilsa fish uh, let me tell you the main time for hilsa fish is a rainy season where when this fish can be found abundantly so uh, these fishmongers whose business is to sell fish and right on that time hilsa fish is the most vogue most of fashion people are buying mostly hilsa fish so all the fishmongers are talking about hilsa fish fishmongers sold nothing but hilsa fish come buy the price of hilsa is down today Householders could talk of nothing but Hilsa fish. How much did you pay for that fish? You don't believe it if I told you. So all the fishmongers were selling. They are selling nothing but Hilsa fish. No other fish is getting bought. And the people, the human arm janta, they are also, all of them are buying Hilsa fish and talking about it. How much are they paying for that fish? How big it is? How tasty it is? All these things. And in the palace too, the courtiers could discuss nothing but Hilsa fish. Your majesty, you should have seen the huge hills I caught. It was... Stop it! Are you a courtier or a fishmonger? The courtier fell silent and with downcast eyes. The king felt guilty. I'm sorry I lost my temper. It is season for Hilsa fish and no one... Not even Gopal can stop anyone from talking about Hilsa fish. Not even for minutes, for five minutes. Oh, I think I could, your majesty. Then let me see you buy a huge Hilsa and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word about it. 
I accept your challenge, Your Majesty. So, as I have already told you, this king who is getting angry, he is the Raja Krishna Chandra. And uh, as we know that the common people might be talking about the hills of fish, but in the court where important things about the state are supposed to be discussed, there also no one is talking anything else but hills of fish. So the king got very angry that this is a this is an important place and we should discuss important things about our state, important problems of our state in here. And all of you are only talking about Hilsa fish. How? That is not really good. And he is admonishing, he is holding his courtiers. But as soon as he is cold, all the courtiers are feeling very guilty. So they are being unhappy, they are, uh, they are becoming sad, they are uh, downcasting their eyes just like you do when a teacher rebukes you, don't you? If a teacher rebukes you, what do you do? You say sorry and uh, just see uh, in the uh, see beneath you so that uh, you could portray the fact that you are sorry. So the courtiers are also doing that because Raja Krishna Chandra is kind of their leader and they are sorry that they have upset their leader. But Raja Krishna Chandra, he was a very good king, so he was also feeling bad because uh, courtiers are also human beings and probably they have made a mistake by talking his, about talking his fish. But he being their leader should not get angry so easily. So that is why he also felt guilty. He also felt guilty and he is saying sorry. See, he is such a good king. He is, he is also saying sorry to his courtiers and saying that I am sorry I lost my temper. I got so angry I shouldn't have. But the fact is everyone everywhere is talking about hills of fish and I am tired of it. No one can stop anyone to, uh, about talking, from, uh, talking about hills of fish. Not even Gopal Bhar. Now, who is Gopal Bhatt? As I have already told you in the beginning, Gopal Bhatt was a court gesture or comedian. And he was supposed to be very clever, very witty, very funny. So, Krishna Chandra is saying that Gopal Bhatt, who is such a clever man, even he cannot stop anyone uh, from talking about Hilsa Krishna. But, see the... Uh, Go, see, Gopal Bhar is accepting the challenge. He is saying that I accept your challenge. I think I could. He is saying that no, he has the power to stop people from talking about her fish all the time. So the king is challenging him. Mm, okay, very good. I want you to go to the market and buy a huge hill fish, not a small one, a huge one and come to the palace with it in your hand so that everyone, everyone can see it. But still, if no one talks about it, and I'll accept the fact that you are very clever and witty and no one can defeat you. And Gopal is accepting the challenge. He is promising the king that he will be doing just so. He will be buying a good hills of fish, bring it to the palace in front of everyone. But he assures the king that no one will say a word about it. How is he going to do that? Let's see. A few days later, so Gopal Bhar is preparing himself to fulfill the challenge. So this scene is in his home. The previous scene was in the court of the king, Raja Krishna Chandra. But now we can see Gopal in his home with his wife. What is he doing? He is dressing up in a very disrespectful manner, in a very shabby manner, just like a street people. And his wife is very disturbed and confused. She cannot understand that what is going to happen, what is going uh, on with her husband, who is supposed to be a very witty and clever man. Why is he behaving like a mad person? So she is asking, why is your fish half seven? Can you see the picture? The Gopal has shaved the other half of it, but there are hairs in here. So, her wife is getting very confused. Gopal is answering, I'm dressing up to buy a fish. Now, see, someone who does not know any context, 
wife Gopal's wife do not, does not know what has happened there so she is very confused that why should you shave half of your mouth to buy go and buy a hilsa fish what is the matter what is the matter with you why are you smearing yourself with ash to so she is saying that okay you have already shaven half of your face you look like a mad person now why are you smearing ash uh, why are you putting ash why are you rubbing ash all over your face i told you i am going to dra- uh, dressing up to buy a hills of fish now see gopal apparently is making no meaning his wife is going crazy she is thinking that what happened to my husband why is he behaving in such a weird manner now see we can see that gopal has dressed up in a very disrespectful clothes she has he had on a patched up shirt a very short uh, pajama which has been torn and uh, dressed overall in a very weird way and his wife is calling him from behind that listen to me please you don't you can't possibly go this you can't possibly go out in those districts disgraceful rags what are you up to how many times must i tell you woman i am out to buy a hills of fish so his wife is saying that how why are you doing this you are wearing such a weird clothes poor clothes like mad people wear and now you are going out you are not even staying in you are going out so everyone will be able to see you and everyone will laugh at you why are you doing this and gopal is now getting irritated he is saying how many times must i tell you i have told you already many times that i am going to buy a hills of fish how it is so hard for you to understand i am saying it in simple language that i am going to buy a hills of fish so you should not be so confused now gopal's wife is thinking it's happened to him he has gone mad so gopal bhar has always been very witty but his wife is thinking now that my husband has gone totally mad finally he has gone mad gopal bought the hills of fish and started walking towards the palace so despite wearing such weird dress he obviously had some money with him to buy the hills of fish so he paid the proper amount to the fishmonger and the fishmonger gave him the fish now he is carrying that fish you can see that he is not, has not covered it he is carrying it in his hand in front of everyone and he is going to the palace now see everyone behind him also they are not paying attention to the fish they are talking about gopal a kid is saying mother look at the man isn't he comical ma so saying that see this man is so funny this man looks hilarious let's laugh at him he must be a mad man hush i think he is a mystic so all the people are thinking about different things a little child thinks that gopal is very comical that uh, he is very funny person other one he is thinking that gopal is mad but no one with any sense without any with any sanity will dress up like that so this man thinks that gopal is a madman another person thinks he is a mystic now what is who is a mystic mystics are called You, can, you have to understand the meaning of the word mystery. Mystery means something which is not clearly understood. जैसे कोई रहस्य. तो this is uh, and mystic. Normally we call the holy people, the sadhus. We call them mystic because they do many things that we cannot understand. So another person thinks that Gopal Bhar is a mystic who probably doing something that. common people could not understand because gopal probably have some deep knowledge in him so as you can guess none of these people are guessing the right reason gopal is neither trying to make people laugh nor he is a madman and nor he is a mystic he is not a holy person he is not doing something for some religious or holy manner so finally gopal has reached the court the guards are asking him what do you want 
I want to see the king. You can't see the king. Get away with you. Gopal began to dance and sing loudly. So, now you might ask me a question that Gopal Bhar, who is a courtier, he comes to king every day. Then why aren't these people letting him in? Because obviously no one can uh, identify him. Gopal has dressed up in such a manner that no one can believe that this is the respectable person Gopal Bhar. No one can recognize him. So that is why the guards are not letting him into the palace. So they are uh, saying that you have to go away. You, you can't see the king. Get away with you. So the guards are thinking that this is a madman. And we can't just take anyone to our king. So he is asking him to go away. Gopal began to dance and sing loudly. See, Gopal didn't shout. He did not attract any attention. He didn't tell anyone that, see, I am a respectable person. I am, the, I am a courtier of the king's palace. He did none of it. He did something which will attract everyone's attention, even the king's attention. He began to dance and sing. So, he began to dance in a very noisy manner and sing in a very loud manner. Inside the palace, so the sound has reached the palace inside, and other people were also started screaming, talking by now. That man is crazy. Throw him out at once. I I want to see the king. Let me in. So the king inside can hear all these, all the things that are going on outside. That someone is king, uh, saying someone crazy. Someone is advising someone else to throw that person to show that person outside and king and also hear that someone is asking him to asking to see him so the king was very curious and so he said that bring that man to me at once and the guard says yes your majesty so up till now the guards were thinking that we should not disturb our king so they were not bringing Gopal inside but now the king has himself given the permission to bring him inside because the king was very curious. Gopal was brought before the king. Now after only after Gopal has came inside all his friends all the other courtiers recognized him. How did they act? They say it's Gopal. The man has lost his mind. I think it's one of his crazy jokes. So everyone knew Gopal and they are thinking, they are conversing among themselves about what happened. So one of them is very, very surprised. See, it's Gopal. Gopal is doing like that. And they are conversing among themselves. They are discussing that that man must have lost his mind. He must have lost his mind another one is saying another person is saying no i think it's one of his crazy jokes he's a very funny man so he must be joking in some way all right gopal out with it the king is saying why are you dressed in this ridiculous fashion your majesty you seem to have forgotten something forgotten something strangely enough no one seems to be interested in the hills of fish today in the court, not a soul has spoken a word about Hilsa Fish. So, as we remember that Gopal didn't uh, try to uh, fulfill his challenge immediately after the king has challenged him. See the beginning. When the king challenged him, Gopal took a few days. So, after a few days when people have already forgotten it, then he decided to do it. So finally he has come inside and when everyone is dumbstruck, no one can understand what is going on. Then Gopal is saying that all of you have forgotten something. You king yourself you have challenged me. But see I have fulfilled your challenge. No one asked me about the health service today. Not in the market. Not in the court, not even you. No one has asked me about it. Only then did the king remember the challenge he had thrown to Gopal. So 
finally after all these things the king now he can remember that right i have i had challenged gopal a few days ago and gopal being a truly clever person is finally fulfilling it and he started to laugh see ha ha well gopal congratulations you have achieved the impossible once again so gopal bhar has always been challenged like that by other people but he used his wit he used his clever ness to solve the problems all the time so that is why the king is saying that you have achieved impossible once again let's discuss the question answers why did the king want no more to talk about the hills of fish right as we have seen in the beginning of the story beginning of the commentary that everyone everywhere was talking about hills of fish even the refined people even the courtiers so that is why the king was tired of it so he wanted no one to talk about hills of fish what did the king ask gopal to do to prove that he was clever it was also given there king asked gopal to buy a huge hills of fish and bring it to the court and if no one in the way or in the court talks anything about the hills of fish which was proving to be impossible then only the king would believe that gopal is clever what three things did gopal do before he went to buy hills of fish if you go through the comment strip again you will see what did he do at first he had half shaven his face then he smeared ash all over his body and face finally what did he do he wore rags you know torn and raggedy clothes and then he went to buy hills of fish how did gopal get inside the palace to see the king after he had bought the fish so the king directly came to the palace but the guards of the palace did not allow him at first to get into the palace so what did he do then he started singing loudly and dancing so the talks the sing the words the uh, shouted words came into the king's ears and then the king gave permission to bring him inside explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the hills of fish which gopal had got i think if you have understood the whole story you will be able to write this answer by yourselves i have already discussed the other question you have to write this on your own and if you still have any doubt i will obviously discuss it later so just think about it and try to write this here also see there are some true and false questions you will have to do that also you have to infer all these answers from the text you have to read the text and then you have to decide that all these uh, statements are true or or false that's all for today i hope you have understood the chapter have a good day